My name is Randy Jurgensen. <clears throat> I'm a retired New York City homicide detective. In, that, in October of 1971, I was working in Harlem when the, uh, when the phone rang. Uh, I would have many, many times uh, the phone would ring and it would practically change the uh, course of my life or as to how I was making a living. Uh, <clears throat> and it was uh, my lifelong friend, uh, Sonny Grasso of French Connection fame, um, said to me, uh, <clears throat> come over to the east side by the east side river. I want to introduce you to some of, some of the people. <clears throat> we are starting to make a film uh, called The French Connection. I went over there and I met a 29-year-old, 30-year-old uh, Bill Freakin. <clears throat> it was like an instant connection. It was a, a friendship that lasted practically a, a, a lifetime. Um, Bill uh, obviously was directing uh, The French Connection. <clears throat> He would go on to uh, direct uh, movies like The Sorcerer, Brinks, Cruising, To Live and Die in L.A., and of course, The Exorcist. And uh, as I say, uh, there was an instant friendship. I worked on every one of those pictures <clears throat> while I was working on my R-E-A-L real job uh, at that time, chasing cop killers. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to do a series of uh, podcasts uh, on each one of these pictures. Uh, obviously, working uh, working with uh, uh, Billy Freakin. Um, some of the stories I'm going to uh, reveal or talk about have never been have never been revealed or discussed. Uh, such as uh, uh, in France, uh, making the sorcerer, uh, there was an explosion to take place. And, and when it did, uh, the French government, or at least the French film industry, asked us to leave France. Um, <clears throat> there will be stories of when we were filming uh, Brinks uh, up in Boston, to where we couldn't continue filming until we met certain people. Uh, there will be stories of when we were uh, working on the screenplay uh, for Cruising of uh, Billy at that time was living in Manhattan uh, on Park Avenue in, in a penthouse apartment. And I would go down there almost every day. And on one of the days that I went down there, as we discussed the screenplay of Cruising, there was Billy Freakin with a jar of Gerber's baby food in his hand and a teaspoon, and he was feeding his uh, two-year-old son, Jack, out of the high chair. There'll be many, many more such stories as this. And the people that we met or he introduced to me along the way, such as Larry Bird, uh, <clears throat> Red Auerbach, uh, people, people on the other side of the tracks, some of whom I really knew, uh, it, it, I were even involved in the pictures that we make. So the series will be called uh, Billy and Me. Um, I have the blessing of his wife, Sherry Lansing, who was the president of uh, Paramount, and um, I <clears throat> will be uh, writing a book, so I will be looking uh, for a publishing company. I also, uh, my manager, uh, Steve Brienza, who will be producing uh, the podcast, who will be producing these series, uh, we will be looking uh, for sponsors. I'm going to start, obviously, with the first one, which would be uh, the French Connection. Again, <clears throat> uh, this is Randy Jurgensen, a former homicide detective who taught Billy Freakin how to be a narcotic detective 
and Billy Friedkin taught me how to be a producer.